Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel 100% Pure Elvis. Thank you all for returning to my channel to watch my new upload and if you are new to the channel welcome aboard and thank you for joining. So today I am continuing my review of Elvis Presley studio albums from the 1970s. I've done a few uploads already so please go and check them out. The one in question that I'm going to share with you all today is the magnificent album on stage. This was released in 1970 and reached a UK album chart position of number two and it stayed in the UK album charts for 18 weeks. Let's start with the front cover image. What a great image of Elvis there from February of 1970. Such as one of my favourite all-time images of Elvis on any front cover. And on the back, again, a classic image of Elvis on stage in 1970. And as you can see, the copy that I have is the music on vinyl copy that was issued in 2021. So a limited edition copy. And let's talk through the track listing on, on stage. So we have side one, CC Rider, Release Me and Let Me Love Again, Sweet Caroline, Runaway, The Winter Review. Side two, Polk Salad Annie, Yesterday, Proud Mary, Walk a Mile in My Shoes, Let It Be Me. I absolutely cannot choose a favourite. Each and every song is just superb. But I absolutely love The Wonder of You, which, as you all know, was their number one for Alvis in the UK singles chart. I absolutely love Sweet Caroline, Let It Be Me, Release Me and Let Me Love Again. Great. This is such a great album from Alvis. And again, it did so well for Alvis because returning back to the stage in 1969, the early albums into the 70s were just great, in my personal opinion. Then... Obviously, we went into the mid 1970s where the albums didn't do as didn't fare as well, and uh, so again, personally for me, this would have to sit in my top five favorite Alvis albums of the 1970s. Let me share the copy that I have in front of me with you. So I'm just going to get it out of its wrapper. I have already done this before, so it's not the first time I am doing this. So I'm taking it out of its wrapper. And as you can see, it's in, the, it's in high gloss. Beautiful. On the reverse, again. And first of all, I'm just going to get, it comes with a free poster inside. And the poster, let me show you this beautiful poster. Look at that. Absolutely. Poster is exactly the same as the front cover image. And um, into the album, into the album sleeve. So as you can see, promoting other Alphys album releases at the time, like it's an original release. I just I just love the style of this music on vinyl release. Superb. Let me get the vinyl out. It's on black 180 gram vinyl. And again, it's on the orange RCA Victor label there with the music on vinyl at the bottom. And oh, the sound quality on this is just, oh, it's just amazing. Um, for me, on stage is an album that I do tend to listen to an awful lot. I absolutely adore this album. And with it getting a UK chart position of number two, you know, performed so well for Alvis here in the UK and in the United States of America. Um, unfortunately, I don't know which album kept it off the top spot in the UK charts. So if anyone knows what album kept this off the UK number one position in the album chart please let me know in the comments below um but everything about the album is just superb the track listing the way Elvis sounds the choice of songs on this album second to none and again 
it's an album that I return to time and time again. Goes into my top five favorite albums from the 1970s quite easily. And um, again, you know, is there any weak songs on this album? Um, I don't really like Yesterday. I don't like the Beatles covers really. Um, that's not because I dislike Elvis's version. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not a big keen Beatles fan. And uh, but again, Elvis sings it really well. But besides that, um, every song on this album is just outstanding. I love Elvis's version of the Neil Diamond song "Sweet Caroline," and um, as you all know, CC Rider happened to be used in his concert tours from here until his sad passing. So again, it's an album that performed so well and it deserved to perform well for Alvis. You know, it is an album that is full of songs that were strong on an album that again, put Alvis back to the top of the charts. And uh, again, please share your thoughts on this great album in the comments below and I will look forward to reading them. Where does this sit as your favourite album in the 1970s? Would you put this album in the top half of your favourites or in the bottom half? And uh, please share your reasons as to why. And again, we all have differences of opinions on certain albums. And, um, you know, in the uploads that I have done recently on Alvis's studio albums, you know, it's really interesting seeing people's differences of opinions on certain albums because, again... I did a review of the uh, Alvis Fall album recently. And um, again, the fact that some people think that's a very weak album and other people say it's it's actually a great album. Me, I was saying to me, I don't think it's outstanding as an album, but it's not weak either. There are better albums from Alvis in the 1970s. And I've also done an upload of from Alvis Presley Boulevard, Memphis, Tennessee, uh, Good Times and Raised on Rock, so please check all them out. But if I had to give this a grading um, of my favourite albums from the 1970s, studio albums, a very strong 8 out of 10 and definitely into my top 5. As always, if, you, if there's any studio album from the 1970s you would like me to review that I haven't done as yet, please leave in the comments below and I'll get it done as soon as I possibly can. But as always, I will sign off by saying, please keep Alvis close to your hearts. Please keep on playing his music. That is most important to me. And uh, love to you all. And by the way, if you are sitting at home watching this upload and as of yet haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It will help make my channel grow. So please hit that subscribe button. And welcome to the 100% Pure Alvis family. And I will speak to you all soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.